the years, we have traditionally chosen a minivan to use as a long-term test vehicle. So this time, we've decided to try something different. This is the Nissan Pathfinder, the newest member of our driving television team. We have the seven passenger model with lots of room for equipment and personnel. We've put on roughly 3,000 kilometers with a few first impressions. Previously, the Pathfinder was based on a pickup truck frame. Now, it has a unibody platform that helps to shed a whopping 500 pounds. We found our fuel economy to be closer to about 10 liters per 100K for the highway and 15 for the city. You probably recognize these guys by now, Brian and Brian, or as we like to call them, B squared. Our combined number is 12.8 liters per 100K, which is pretty good for a vehicle this size. This 260 horsepower Pathfinder features a newly introduced continuously variable transmission. When they shed 500 pounds, I thought the drive would uh, lighten up a bit, kind of like the Rogue, but uh, no, it still feels like a big, substantial SUV. It's nice and grounded, and that CVT is a perfect match. V very nice and smooth. The drive of the Pathfinder is similar to the Nissan Quest that we had in terms of power and handling. And the turning radius, I think it's about the same, which is very, very tight. I only have one small complaint. The shifter has no gate that automatically stops at drive. A lot of times you end up in low, while especially at the beginning. Later, maybe only once a week. I think that's something that could be changed. Do you realize how much fuel it takes to get to Whistler in low gear? As we put on the kilometers, we'll make sure to let you know of any issues that arise, and of course, we'll give you our final fuel consumption numbers. But so far, we're really enjoying our break from a minivan to a full-size SUV.